Hey guys and welcome back to God of War 3. In the last part, Kratos and Perseus join forces to defeat the God of the Sun, Helios. He is now mortally injured, but he has something that Kratos needs, so we have to go find him. And we're now in some kind of passageway in the city of Olympia. Just smashing some stuff to get some red orbs. Since we'll be having something new to upgrade soon. And just battering ram through this group of enemies. And this is the kind of situation that the developers added the battering ram feature for. Like you're facing a massive group of enemies, you just grab one and ram straight through straight through all the others, like doing massive damage and knocking them into the walls and stuff. And then throwing the one you're holding. It's all pretty awesome. I mean, I wish they added stuff like that in back in God of War 1 or 2. I mean, I never played 1, but I played 2 before. And 2 was awesome, but some of the new mechanics in this game, like the combat grapple and the battering ram, lead me to prefer God of War 3, since it just the combat feels more better developed. So now we're shimmying across a ledge and the building's on fire and there's some guy who wants me to help him. Well get out of my way asshole, Kratos doesn't have time to help people like you. So get up here and then we just have to do a couple of jumps, climb up the wall and look who it is, it's Helios and he's not looking too good right now. But he gets help, a couple of undead soldiers with glowing blue shields. Ah, eh, that won't help. Wait. Okay, so I can't break through the shields. Okay, what the hell am I supposed to do here right now? Ah. Maybe I can break through those blue shields. Get over here, fat ass, I need your help. Wow, that thing's leaking a lot of blood. Didn't even hit it that hard. So let's climb up back. Grab it. Ice socket. And yay, we're Cyclops riding. Cyclops smash. Die, soldiers. You don't stand a chance against Kratos and his Cyclops mount. They need a mount like this in freaking World of Warcraft. Then it'll be somewhat decent of a game. But now it served its purpose, so it deserves to die by ripping out its eye. I don't really see how ripping out someone's eye can kill them instantly. I mean, sure, you'll die of blood loss after a while, but it's not fatal in any way. Now, ripping someone's head off is which we'll see very, very soon. Kratos, I have not forgotten the debt I owe you. <laughs> save me now, as you once saved me from Atlas. <laughs> and I promise to repay you in full. If you wish to repay me, tell me where I can find the Flame of Olympus. The Flame? <laughs> Never defeat Zeus, Spartan. <coughs> you will forfeit your life in trying. Of all the lives you should worry about, Helios, mine is not one of them. Feel the power of the sun! Looks like Helios isn't so tough anymore if he's trying to bribe Kratos and flash him. But yeah, just block the light with Kratos' arm. And we'll move closer, and it's stomping time. Just smash him against the curb a couple of times. <laughs> wait, wait! I can tell you that to destroy Zeus, you must step into the flame to receive its power. You lie, Helios! Hephaestus told me the flame kills all who touch it. And you believe him? That freak has fallen from the graces of Olympus! 
That is exactly why I believe him. My death will not lead you to Zeus. That is where you are wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, here it comes. The moment from the demo you've all been waiting to see. Smash him against the ground and it's head ripping time. Hell yeah. And now we have a brand new flashlight. That's awesome. Using someone's head as a flashlight. And because the god of the sun is now dead, the sun is disappearing. It's starting to rain. I mean, the place was already flooded after we killed Poseidon, but it's getting even worse. It really sucks to be living in Greece right now. And we have acquired the head of Helios. The head of Helios was savagely earned. Its gaze will light your way. With the head of Helios, you can, sl you can shine its light at a couple of these walls to reveal secret doors and secret item chests and stuff. But I'm just gonna upgrade it to its maximum level right now. I mean, I have enough orbs, so why not do it? Though upgrading the head of Helios is pretty much a waste of red orbs. Since it has absolutely zero use in combat whatsoever. I mean, all you can do is like shine it at enemies and they start glowing. They flinch for a few seconds, but that's pretty much all. I mean, hell, even the bow of Apollo is better in combat. And now we have reached a pretty vista. I mean, nice view from here. It's the Path of Eos. For those of you who played the PSP game God of War Chains of Olympus, Eos is Helios' sister, the goddess of dawn, and she appears in that game. To, uh, to get Kratos to save Helios from Atlas. Which is what Helios mentioned before we ripped his head off. So yeah, let's uh, save the game. You no, know, I'm kind of wondering. Where does, where does Kratos keep like all his items anyway? I mean, I can't see the claws of Hades anywhere. Or the bow of Apollo. Or Helios' head. Okay, I'm using it right now, but... Uh, I was really expecting, like, with the quotes from the statue, like, a path that only the eyes of a god can see. Like, it's like a, a path of light over this chasm, like in Star Fox Adventures in the Dark Eyes Mines. But turns out it's just a cave to the left. I mean, why shouldn't a god be able to see that? Or why should someone without the eyes of a god be able to see that? Wait, I don't think I'm making much sense right now, so I'm just going to stop talking about that. Helios' head can you can fire like these massive solar bursts, but they still don't do any damage. They just stun enemies. And this part is one of the worst in the entire game. You're stuck on a dark as hell ledge with a crap load of furies coming your way. And if you've watched the previous God of War videos, you know I don't like these enemies. I mean, they're hard to reach. You can pretty much only kill them with the Bow of Apollo if you don't want to, like, jump. But the Bow of Apollo sucks, so they always live. And I can't even tell where they are right now. I mean, I know the red circles, like, one's gonna die bomb me, but... I don't know where all the other ones are. I mean, I could roll to avoid one and then just get smashed by the other one. But I think that's pretty much it. Yeah, they're all gone. So let's shine this wall and we can go through. Ah, Helios, you're so useful. Good to have someone to talk to by your side. I mean, that would be funny as hell if Helios' head started talking to Kratos. That would be so hilarious. But unfortunately it doesn't. So yeah, let's shimmy across the rope. There's a couple of guys coming at us. Just kill them. 
Yay, kick him off. And I'll drop down at that ledge there and see you next time.